Let's show you how to access the Multimatic 235 service menu and how to do a spool gun calibration. Read and follow all labels and the owner's manual carefully before installing or operating your machine. And remember to wear appropriate safety gear during setup and welding. The service menu provides useful information about your machine. Menu items include motor calibration, run-in, information data logs, factory reset, software, connection diagram timer, and TIG post flow control information. Consult the owner's manual to learn more about all of these settings. To optimize auto set performance when using a spool gun, we will review how to do the spool gun motor calibration. The auto set parameters are based on wire feed speed. Thus, it is critical that the correct amount of wire is being delivered to ensure good welding performance. Simultaneously pressing the two outside buttons allows you to access the Multimatic 235 service menu. Use either the right side negative button to scroll down or the right side positive button to scroll up. Select the service menu that matches the spool gun type being used. The spool gun selections are either the 4-pin spool gun for the Spoolmate 100 or 150 or the 10-pin spool gun for the Spoolmate 200 or Spoolmatic 15 or 30A. For this example, we will be using the Spoolmate 200, so we have selected the 10-pin option. To get started, cut wire flush at the nozzle. Turn left adjustment knob and verify that a check mark appears next to the 200 inches per minute. Pull the trigger on the spool gun. Do not release the trigger until the wire stops feeding. Now release the trigger. The spool gun will feed approximately 24 inches of wire. Cut wire flush at nozzle and measure the wire run out. If wire length is not 24 inches, Use left adjustment knob to increase or decrease the offset needed to equal 24 inches. In this case, we measured 23 inches, so we will need to add 1 inch to equal 24 inches. Turn right adjustment knob and verify that a check mark appears next to 500 inches per minute. Cut wire flush at nozzle and repeat the procedure. Run out the wire. Measure and use right adjustment knob to increase or decrease length of the runout. Your spool gun is now calibrated. Push the two outside buttons to return to weld mode. Calibrating your spool gun is as easy as that.